step by step from scratch how to create a car maintenance log template in Excel where you can list all the major categories for each services and maintenances and everything you put here are going to appear in the list because we are going to also see how to create from scratch a dependent drop down list based on the first list that you select here the second list automatically update for you and with this table you can manage and track the date of each services the mileage the category the services uh perform it the cost the cost column is very important because that way you can see the cost over time for each one of those services and see if the cost went up or down for the same service we have the odometer at the next service that is also very crucial because you can click in the filter button and the way you can open this list of options and let's say your car is getting close to 100 kilometers or miles it doesn't matter okay you can use miles or kilometers you name it so i select here the values and then click ok that way i know i need to do again this routine maintenance that's in this case is oil change so it's very easy and simple to figure out what are the next maintenances based on the odometer or the mileage of the car and also we have here the notes to any extra details such as the parts used or the service provider's name but anyway let's see step by step from scratch how can we create this car maintenance log template in excel to get started our car maintenance log template i want to click on the first row to make sure i can select everything in this first row and then i can go to the home tab and change the fill color maybe to a gray one now on the first cell a1 i can give it a name such as car maintenance log template enter click again on the first cell i can make sure i increase the font size maybe to 28 and i can also change the font color to orange for example and put everything in bold of course you can use the colors that you like the most i'm doing here just an example okay uh, now in the second row I want to change also the fill color however this time I want to use orange okay I think it's very good and again on the second row in between number two and three I can click hold and drag up to make sure I narrow down or shrink this row and that way we can create a very pleasant header here in Excel now that we're done with our first step that is the header we can move on to the second one that is to create the table itself where we are going to register all the maintenances and services that uh, we are going to do with our car right so let's start with the most crucial informations that are date and then we can move on to mileage and then we can go to category of course we are going to have different columns and more columns however let's focus on those three first date is the date that i did the first maintenance or the maintenance of my car so let's say january 1st of 2026 i had a maintenance and the mileage of my car was five thousand five thousand watt kilometers mile, miles you name it so you can use the unit of measurement that you prefer however let me use here kilometers because it's easier for me kilometers and why the mileage is a crucial information because a car requires a maintenance or services over a fixed mileage intervals so let's say 
every 5,000 kilometers, I need to change the oil. Or every 10,000 kilometers, I need to change the fuel filter. Okay, so with the mileage, my, mileage, we know what is the current mileage for the current services that we did. And the way we know exactly what is going to be the next mileage for this same services uh, in the future. As the category, we can have many different options here to use, such as inspections or just a routine maintenance or a major services or major uh, maintenance, okay? So that way we can create a drop-down list here in Excel to make sure we select the right category that we need to use and then based on the category that we choose, we can select another list. So we are going to basically create here a dependent drop-down list in Excel. Based on the first list, the second one is going to change. And to make sure it works, let me rename the first sheet. Right-click, rename. Here is where we are going to register everything. So car log enter now i want to click in on this plus sign and create a new sheet this sheet right here i want to again right click rename and i want to create all the lists that we are going to use so lists and just to make sure we can also create a custom header we can do the process all over again or we can go back to the first sheet and select the first second and third row make sure we copy those informations with ctrl c and then we can paste with ctrl v so ctrl c to copy go to the second sheet click on the first uh, on the first row and then ctrl v however here is not again uh, anymore car maintenance log template now, what we're going to have is the lists. And if you like, you can also, of course, change the colors just to make it uh, differ from the first header that we have. But anyway, let's now move on to the lists itself. So as I said, we can have a routine maintenance. We can also have a major uh, services. We can also have a inspection and so on. However, there is a very, very important thing to know about those type of lists in Excel. We cannot use spaces in between the words. We need to write everything coupled together. However, maybe it's not that good to do it because imagine you have a large text such as major services and repairs there are so many words within the same cell so i don't want to write everything together without separate the words so how can we do it we can use a underscore to instead of a space so major underscore service routine underscore main Tenants, enter, and so on, okay? So we can do uh, things on those lines. Inspection, and so on. We can have many different lists here in Excel. And as a routine maintenance, we can have, let's say, oil change. And we can also have tire rotation, uh, maybe tire inflation, or fluid change and so on now let's make this first set of items a list itself uh, however first let's make sure to increase the width of column b in between b and c i can click hold and drag to the right i select everything here if you prefer you can also select a couple of more cells and then insert a table make sure you check this checkbox right here, let it mark it. My table, yes, indeed has headers, okay? 
So this is our, our first list. And uh, another very important thing is to change the table name to match with the header, okay? Uh, so click on the table, and then we can go to table design, and all the way to the left, instead of using the standard name that Excel gives you, you can change to routine underscore or underline maintenance, enter, okay. So make sure you match the name of the, the table uh, with the name of the header of that table, right? I can do the same process to the column C where we can have major services such as break, repair, or clutch, replacement, and so on. I can select this list go all the way to insert table my table has headers okay now just to make it different from the previous table i can go to the home tab and change the color to orange for example and of course the name i can also give it a name such as major underscore services enter the same name again be mindful the same name as the header and as the inspection, I can have different items, such as wheel alignment. We can also have safe inspection and uh, battery health test, let's say. Of course, we can create more categories, more items, and so on. However, you can do it yourself, okay? You can create the categories and the lists that you think is are important. Now let me select the inspection and insert table. My table has headers, okay. And go all the way here and select a different color, maybe yellow. And as you guys can notice, the first table has more blank rows. The second one and the third uh, ha haven't, uh, but why is that? Because I don't need to use here blank rows uh, because let's say you need to add a new item in the inspection you can just type in the the item let's say wiper blade inspection enter that's it simple as that okay you just go to the next or the first blank cell underneath the table type the name that uh, you need to use and then hit enter simple as that uh, do not forget to also create a click on the third table that you have and then table design give it a name such uh, such as the one that you are using to the header okay now we can go back to the first sheet and as the category we can create a list based on the main categories that we have so I can go all the way here to data and then data validation Instead of use any value, I want to use list and I want to click in this up arrow and go all the way down to lists and then select the headers like this. Down arrow and then OK. Now we basically transformed those main categories headers into options that we can choose and by the name of those categories, we can create a dependent drop down list. Based on the first list, we can set the second one. And as the second one, we're going to have service or repair, perform it. Enter. Let me increase the width of column D. And how can I create now a list based on the first list? I can go again to the cell where I want to create the list and then data, data validation. And this list is going to be based on the first cell that we have. So it's very important here in the source that we use a formula in Excel that is equals sign indirect. Okay, indirect. This is the formula that is going to help us transform the name 
into the reference of the list that we are looking for. Open parentheses and then do not click. So be mindful, we need to enter the name of the cell that we are looking for. So the cell that we are using as the criteria is going to be the cell C5 because here is where I have the first name, the first category, C5, C5. So C5, close parentheses, and then OK. So we're done, look at that. Routine maintenance, we have oil change, tire rotation, fluid change, and etc. However, if I choose a different category, such as inspection, I'm going to have a different list wheel alignment, safety, battery, health test, and so on. Uh, but let me go back to routine maintenance. And uh, the next column that I can have here is the cost. With this column, we can build the cost history over time uh, for each one of the services. Uh, so let's say fluid change, $100, enter. Let me click on the cell and then go to Home tab and change the format to currency. In between column E and F, I can click hold and drag to the right to make sure I can increase the width. The next column that I think uh, it's also very important is going to be odometer at next service. With this column, we know exactly where is going, where is going to, when is going to be the next maintenance that we need to do for the same exactly service. So let's say the mileage of my car was uh, at 5,000 kilometers. So the next maintenance for oil change is going to be at 10,000 kilometers. So it's very easy and straightforward way to uh, know exactly when to do the next maintenance for each one of those services. And uh, of course, we can use some tools in Excel to help us create this alert, let's say, or to better track each maintenance and uh, what are the, ne the, the next maintenances that we need to do. And finally, we can have some notes. I think it's valid to increase the width of this last column and we're done. Now let me select everything, make sure the alignment is in the middle and insert a table. My table has headers, of course, okay. And the uh, color of this table, maybe I can change it to a orange one. Okay, I think this one is very good. Let me increase a little bit the column C, B and A width. And I basically done. So let me input here a different services. So in January 15 of 2026, at the mileage of 5,700 kilometers, I did a, a different maintenance, a major service, uh, like a brake repair at the cost of $150, enter. And the next maintenance of the services, maybe, I don't know, because it's a major service. so. I can't calculate what is the next uh, odometer at the next service. So I can leave it blank or I can just make a, a guess such as 100 kilometers. Enter. Okay, that's it. And as I said before, how can you use this table to better track if a maintenance uh, is due? let's say you can use all those filters in the on the header of the table to click and filter the specific value that you are looking for so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this simple template can help you out to track the costs and also the services that you need to do into your car I see you guys in the next video and if you have any questions or any suggestions let me know comment down below and i see you in the next one